Hello from Baku and the All Kinds of Everything team again, making some more predictions for the Eurovision 2012 semi-final. Elaine Duff. Hi again. And Jermaine. Hello. And me, Keith Mills. We are the team here in Baku. And we've been watching the songs from the second semi-final for the last two days. And we've put a gun to each other's heads and made each other pick 10 songs that we think are going to qualify from the second semi-final. This is a tough semi-final, just to remind everybody, this is not the one with Ireland in it, but as well as the 18 countries that are uh, taking part in this, also um, voting are France, Germany and the UK. And that could be kind of important when you're looking at the potential 10 qualifiers. So, same format as yesterday. We call out the 10 songs in performance, a simple yes or no. Starting with number one, Serbia, Elaine. Yes. Andrew? Uh, it's a yes as well from me. And yes from me. Three out of three. Okay, simple. Number two, Macedonia, Andrew. I'm on the fence with Macedonia. Uh, again, we're down to the situation where there's only 10 places, but there's 18 countries. And I had a feeling of putting them in, but last minute I've decided to say no to Macedonia. Elaine? Yeah, it's a no for me. I just don't think it's going to quite have the appeal to um, a, a massive group. So um, it was, she's fabulous, but it's a no for me. And I'm going to be out on my own on this one because I'm calling this as a yes for two reasons. I think there's nothing quite like it. She delivers it and she delivers it well. And it's helped by a lot of neighbourly votes, not just the former Yugoslavia, but I think Bulgaria will vote strongly for this as well. And I think maybe even Turkey will come in to vote for it. Okay, number three, it's Netherlands, Elaine. This is this is a yes for me. I just find it really endearing and um, you, you know, it, it makes you smile. She's very friendly, she's fabulous. Uh, it's a yes for me. They will be in the final for the first time since I've been coming. Andrew? Yes, it's plain and simple for me. Okay, and I, I actually completely disagree on this one. I think this is the candidate for last place. I think the song is okay, might just have qualified with a very good performance, but the performance is just not there. She is not smiling, it needs to have some joy in it, and I think the staging of it is rather silly now without the uh, video backdrop, so no, it's a no for me. So again, I'm out my own on this one, but uh, it's two out of three for Netherlands. On to Malta and Andrew. Uh, I was on the fence with Malta simply because uh, it wasn't... Uh, in my, I would consider my top five for this semi-final, uh, but I still think it's a fantastically improved performance uh, from Kurt uh, from Malta. Uh, having given up all the options, I've got to choose some countries to take out, some countries to keep in. I've decided to say yes to Malta. Yes to Malta. Aline? It's a yes for me as well. I, I was undecided about this one and another one which I'll let you into secret later on. Um, I just think that it's the chorus has got a great hook to it and I think it's enough to pull it through. And I'm surprisingly agreeing with you both here because this is not one of the favourites. In fact, it's probably the outsider to qualify. But I think it's, for me, this is a bit brilliant contrast to Netherlands. I'm getting no sense of joy from the Netherlands performance, but I think this is a really happy performance from the Netherlands and I think it's quite infectious, so I'm going a yes on this one. Okay, Belarus and Elaine. This is the one actually that lost out to Malta, and it's a it, it's a greatly improved song. Um, but I think the two are they're quite similar upbeat songs, and I think the hook from Malta just just um, beats um, Belarus, but not by much. Andrew, Belarus is a simple no for me, and I'm taking the opposite view from Elaine here. I think they've um, disimproved the song since it was chosen. I don't like this kind of. Um, disco vibe that it has now and it's lost any kind of rock element so it's a no from me. Portugal, Andrew. I was very much on the fence for Portugal because I think it is a, a really lovely ballad, uh, very much in the Portuguese style and um, I had to sway one way or the other and I've actually gone no for Portugal. Elaine. Yep, it's a no from me. It's instantly forgettable, unfortunately. It's pleasant to listen to, but I still can't hum the tune. And I love this. I really do. I love the staging. I love the performance. I think she's fantastic. And yet, I just don't think it has enough 
to make it memorable after so many songs come after it and people don't vote until the, the last song has been performed this year. I'd love to be wrong on this one, but I have it as, as a no as well. Next, Ukraine and Alain. It's an easy one for me, it's a yes. Okay, Andrew? It's sailing into the final, that's a definite yes for me. Okay, I thought the performance was messy yesterday, but I think they'll improve it, and uh, it's got enough of neighbours, and it's got enough oomph, uh, so I think it's a yes. Next up, Bulgaria and Andrew. Straightforward and to the point, no. Elaine? And it's an oh uh, no from me as well. It's uh, kind of horrible. Okay. Now, I'm the opposite. I love this song. I think it's great. I think the staging of it is awful. And I think um, Ukraine is just walking all over it. Um, so, as much as I love the song, it's a no. Next up, the first of today's rehearsals, Slovenia, Elaine. Um, this is a yes for me. It's... it's um, just, it's a lovely, lovely ballad, and uh, yeah, I think it's a yes. Andrew? Yes, I'm saying that as well. It is a lovely ballad, it builds beautifully, it's sung beautifully, and I just think it's going to get enough votes to get over the line. And I was a little on the fence on this one, um, because I don't think all of the ex-Yugoslavian countries can qualify. But I think this may pick up a few more votes from diaspora and from the, uh, kind of the people who are who like this kind of Balkan ballad. So I'm going for a yes on this. So it's three out of three for Slovenia. Next one up, right beside it, Croatia and Andrew. I think uh, Keith's right. Uh, I, I don't think all the Balkan ba uh, ballads that are in this competition uh, will qualify. Possibly one or two might miss out. And on that basis, I'm saying Croatia is going to miss out. So it's a no. no. Okay. A link? Yeah, I'm in agreement with Andrew. I think it's two, you know, it's two ballads back to back, and I think Slovenia is superior to Croatia. So I think it could lose out because of that. Yeah, I'm agreeing with Elaine here. I, I think it, I think Slovenia is, is much stronger than it. I know Nina Badrich is a better known singer and probably carries more votes by her name and reputation and Croatia probably carry more votes from the diaspora but I just don't think the performance is there and I think they've, they've done another over-the-top performance like they did last year. They, 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 they tend to do this and uh, it only distracts from the song so it's a no for me on Croatia. Next up, Sweden and Elaine. Uh, yes, easy for me. Andrew? Um, yes, I think I'll say that as well. Okay, I was very unimpressed with it today. I believe that she wasn't well. I give it the benefit of the doubt, and I also know that fans have far more impact on the semi finals than they do on the final. And I think there's enough fan whatever building up behind <laughs> this. So um, it's a yes for me, despite the fact that I don't think it really deserves to. <laughs> okay, next up, Georgia and Andrew. I was on the fence with Georgia because it's a completely mad, wacky kind of song. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. I don't hate it, I think it's fun, but I don't think it's going to keep the 100% record that Georgia tend to have in Eurovision, so I'm going to say no. No, Elaine. See, I, I disagree. I think it will keep the 100% record. Um, it's it's mad as a box of frogs, but I love it, as you can see. <laughs> um, so it's a yes for me. And I think it's no no question. It's mad. I'm not. It's getting in. I think on two from that. I, and I'm going a yes on this. I think it's got a lot of neighbourly support, and I think it stands out. Um, even after the rather uh, a similar freakishly thing from from Sweden, um, but I think it's. I, I just there's something in the performance when he bangs that drum and plays the piano and goes wild. Uh, it reminds me of Azerbaijan's first entry where everybody would scratch their head and go, what the hell is it? I think the same happens for this, but I think it will, ha will get enough votes. So I'm a yes on Georgia. Turkey, Elaine. Yes for me. Andrew? It's got enough, uh, enough votes throughout uh, this semi-final from different countries that uh, I reckon, and also Germany are voting in this country though. Sorry, in this semi final, so they're going to get votes from there too. So I'm going to say yes. Okay, I'm saying yes, but I'm also saying that I think this is the most undeserving of the 10 songs that I, I really see nothing in it. But it has a lot of diaspora votes coming in. It's got the Dutch votes coming in, it's got the German votes coming in, it's got the UK votes coming in, it's got French votes coming in. 
basically from Turkish diaspora. I don't think it deserves to qualify, but I think it will. So that's, I'm saying yes, and that's 100% yes for Turkey. Estonia, Elaine again. It's a yes for me. He, I had my first goosebumps moment when I listened to him in the hall today, so it's a yes. Are you sure that wasn't the food, no? It might have been something else that was poking right at me. <laughs> oh, I think it was Paul Jordan. <laughs> and um, how about yourself, Andrew? Estonia? Uh, yeah, I also got those goosebumps wherever Elaine got them from. Um, this this is a cracking ballad. That I've uh, I've had hopes that this would do well right from the minute I heard it, and uh, I can't help but say yes. And I really am totally unimpressed with this today. I think the staging of it is wrong. The fact that he closes his eyes means that there's no making a contact with the audience. Oh, he think... contacts with something else. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll have to take your word for that's the goosebumps thing again, is it? Mm. <laughs> no, I'm afraid my bumps were completely not ungoosed on this one, so um, no, it's a no from me. Okay, now for something completely different, Slovakia and Andrew. Yes, yeah, Slovakia is, to me, the only genuine rock song in this competition. It stands out a mile in the semi-final and it uh, has the kind of support in Eurovision voters that's been proved year after year. But despite all that, Slovakia traditionally doesn't seem to have a lot of votes from around Europe and based on that more than the fact it's a good rock song, uh, I've ended up saying no, but only no. just. Okay. Elaine? It's, it's a no from me. It hurt my ears today. It's, it's too screechy. Um, it's, it's got its audience and it may go through because of that, like Georgia last year, but at the minute I'm saying no. And I'm... Yeah, I, I, I came here thinking that if this was very well performed, it could do it. But I didn't think it was anything particularly great today and it was, he was rather hoarse and it's all a bit static on stage. Um, I know we haven't seen the final version of it yet, and maybe the, the, hopefully the tea cosy will come off. And but, um, I didn't like it today, so I'm going no on this one. So I'm afraid it's zero for Slovakia, Norway, and Elaine. This is my. There's always um, a big shock non-qualifier, and I've hummed and hawed on this one, and I think this could be the shock non-qualifier, and I'll reveal later on a surprising reason why I think that is. Okay. Why not now? Well, she's saving it, she's saving herself. <laughs> and Andrew, Norway? Yeah, Norway, uh, I, I'm kind of on the fence because, um, I don't know, I, I thought it would be a great pop song, beautifully delivered. Um, it is a good pop song, um, it's not delivered as well as I thought it might be. Um, but because there are some Western countries, big, you know, big five, or whatever you want to call them, uh, voting in this, I think it might just pick up enough votes just to scrape through, so I'm saying yes. I'm, I'm totally on the fence on this one. I wasn't overly impressed with it vocally today. It's slick dance-wise, and he's a better dancer than he is a singer. Um, if this was earlier in the draw, if this had swapped positions with, with Malta at number four, and this, you know, um, I would have put, I said, guaranteed for Malta and no hope for Norway, but I think the fact that he's late in the, dr the draw and could get a lot of little girly votes from semi-final night. So I'm saying yes, but possibly another undeserved qualifier. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Andrew. I was on the fence with this because there's nothing wrong with this song as such. It's another beautifully presented, albeit simple sort of Balkan ballad, um, but some of them are going to lose out and I've actually decided that this year Bosnia are going to lose out, so I'm saying no. No for Bosnia. Elaine? Yeah, um, it, it's a no from me. Again, perfectly, perfectly lovely song with a lovely singer, but I don't, I don't think it's the best of the ballads. I think Slovenia and Estonia are the best of the ballads. It, it could go through because it does have a good draw, obviously. But again, I was on the fence, but I've gone with no. And I'm this is where there's a difference. And I think this walks all over Estonia and takes votes from Estonia because I think she delivers the song better. She interacts with the cameras better. And I think it has more diaspora and more neighbourly votes coming in as well. And that, for me, is the tipping point here. So I think Bosnia just about will maintain its 100% record. I know I'm on my own, but I'm a yes for Bosnia. And finally, Lithuania, Elaine. 
this is my surprise um, qualifier. I didn't think it had a hope before I came out. And I just watched the um, rehearsal and yes, the, 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 the start of the song is silly looking, almost verging on uncomfortable. But the second part of the song is really, really good. And the staging of it, it's one of the best backdrops that we've had. It's, it's upbeat. It's, I, I just think Lithuania qualified last year with the sign language gimmick going on. So, you know, with the blindfold, it's maybe going to work for them. And I actually think his vocal performance and his energy and the staging may be what takes the votes away from Norway. So, yes, surprisingly, I think Lithuania is a qualifier. Lithuania in Norway out. Controversial, Miss Dove. Very. <laughs> Andrew? I to be honest, I didn't rate Lithuania um, leading up to coming out here, uh, almost to the point where I, I almost didn't see any sense in watching the rehearsal because I just didn't rate it. Um, I did watch the rehearsal obviously and it's got a split personality of the song because of the start and then disco afterwards, but Elaine's right, he sings it fantastically well, it has a huge impact. And from what I saw, I think it is almost the rehearsal of the day in terms of its goodness and its improvement from what I was expecting. Um, based on all that, it has a cracking position coming on last. I think it's going to go through to the final. Okay. Now, this is interesting because I, I was down to 11 songs at the end and I've been humming and hawing as to which one I'd leave out. And this is the one I left out. And I agree with both of you in terms of the presentation of the song, the performance of the song. Johnny Montel, fantastic performance today. But I just, I just don't think that there's enough of either a ballad or an up-tempo song left in people's memory. And I accept the good position of the draw and everything, but that, that niggling doubt is at the back of my mind that people will either find a ballad they prefer or an up-tempo song that they prefer possibly won't vote for this, so I'm a no on this one, but it is very close between Georgia and Lithuania for me. Who thought we would be sitting here discussing the merits of Lithuania before we came out I here? Know, yeah. So, that's it, we voted on all 18 songs, so let's see the ones that we all agree on. So Serbia we all agree on, Malta we all agree on, Ukraine, Slovenia, Sweden and Turkey. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six qualifiers. And then it gets interesting. Then we're down to the two out of threes. And we have one, two, three, four, five of those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Netherlands, Georgia, Estonia, Norway, and Lithuania. Could so who, come down to Georgia and Lithuania. It could Keith. come down to Georgia and Lithuania. Mm. <laughs> oh, I couldn't. If I was to veto any of those, I would veto Netherlands. Um, who else is Oh, yeah, there? you're probably going to veto any. Um, the other one, Ge would... Georgia, would be vetoed by Andrew. Estone, right. Estone, <laughs> <laughs> Norway would be vetoed by Elaine. So oh, we're, we're back to square we're one, basically. Yeah. Yeah. We've basically chosen five songs, four of them will go through. And we all five. had 11, you know, we had 11 songs, so yes. that's yeah. those 11. And the ones that got one vote, and so somebody's going to go, hmm, if it qualifies, are Macedonia, which I picked, and Bosnia, and again, which I was the only one that picked, so yeah. so I'm out on out a limb on both of those. So maybe I'm... You might Are you on your own at Eurovision this <laughs> thing? You, you might get it never happened before, did it? <laughs> okay. Listen, those were our predictions. We'll be back tomorrow with the, uh, the breakfast briefing. Long day of rehearsals tomorrow as well as we do the second rehearsals of the songs in the first semi-final. And stay tuned to All Kinds of Everything Little High E for this year's Eurovision Song Contest, reporting and opinions by the ton. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Rah.